Welcome to Poets from the Neighborhood. My name is Sally Lee. And I'm Louise Collin. We hope you'll enjoy the poems we'll be reading today, poems written by your friends and neighbors. And today, Sally will be reading some of the special poems she has written. July 2012, Emerald Isle, North Carolina. The young explorer digging in the sand will learn how channels flow, how wa waves destroy. Working at verge of the sea and land, new ideas blossom quickly for the boy. He's not discouraged by the foamy waves, erratic failing of his channel's paths. He plans his mountain slopes and stops some wavy disaster with vertical walls. Then horizontal pits dug back into a dune, a complex doomed as most ambitions by the tides. The young, young explorer's mind does not desist. By dawn, another pattern fills his mind. He comes out eager for the sand, the dampness that will help his wall adhere, the wind that cools him and the sun that warms. He leaps down to his workplace, undeterred by night's high tide oblivion takes the smooth sand as a fresh, clean sight. Encounter by Susie Margaret Ross. My mother visits. She comes just before midnight. She says, it's time now. You must come with me. In anticipation, I get my wool coat. You knew this would be, she says as she laughs at me. I can't stop crying. Technology for the old. Millions of grandmas are grateful for Facebook. Photos and comments arrive every week. Three cheers for the soccer and school art and cookies made by that five-year-old child I adore. Millions of grandmas are grateful for YouTube. Strum of guitars, crisp clack of the drums. Surprised plaintive ballad was sung in recital so far away, now they stand still more. Millions of grandmas are grateful for Twitter. Spontaneous comments from children afar tell me of dog friends and chickens and cats, a prize of adventures, childhood's wild lore. Millions of grandmas love the technology, arriving by email tomorrow perhaps. Miles astronomical separate families. Cyberspace brings them near as if next door. The Joy of Being by Vera Jaar, from her book, Joy of Being. To emerge, to love, to laugh, oh, how joyful. To grow in faith, oh, how blissful. To morph in spirit, to emerge anew. Grandson on the Farm. Quicksilver flashing in little sports shoes toward the barn with its tractor, its hay bales, its tools. Small boy disappearing behind the tall door while, where grandpa is waiting with two using lore. So what if the tall grass will get his shoes wet? He's finished his breakfast. He's ready to jet right on down to the garden or fields or the cart where he can help grandpa and or fast as a dart He's off to the horses or rocks in the creek. Oh, Grandma, run fast or you'll play hide and seek. But what he loves best is real work on the farm with his grandpa to help and to keep him from harm. This is another poem by me, Contentment. Don't say I cook your eggs precisely the way you like them and leave the funnies on the table not teasing that you like to read them first through years of Sunday breakfast. Don't say my thoughts and yours blend or blast but never bore. Don't say my evening love leaves you happy. Just say you love me, saying it all. Thank you for watching Poets from the Neighborhood. We hope you'll join us again soon.